Hi everyone, welcome back to my texture blanket series. Today we're going to be making square two and as I mentioned last time, this will be our double crochet stitch. Um, it's a double crochet stitch in US terms, um, treble crochet in UK terms. So what you will need is your yarn, this is a DK yarn, and your crochet hook, I'm using a four millimeter hook, your tape measure and your scissors. Let's get into it. We are going to start by making a slip knot. So pinch your tail with your thumb, wrap it around your two fingers like so, making sure that you cross, turn your hand over, pop your hook under the first strand, hook the second one, and gently slide it off your fingers, and then you can just tighten your loop, like so. So now we're going to be chaining 15 centimeters, however number change you need to get to that measurement. So you're gonna take your hook, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And you're simply going to continue with that making your chains until your chain is 15 centimeters long. Okay, so now I've got my chain. As you can see, if I put it down and I gently pull it, it's 15 centimeters. You don't want to have it too loose. It needs to be 15 centimeters when tugged a little bit, not too hard, just a smidge. Now I'm going to chain three. So one, two, three. And I'm going to start working in the fourth chain. So yarn over. And I'm going to ignore the three I made just now and pop my hook into the fourth chain. So then yarn over, pull through, yarn over again and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Again, yarn over into the next chain, I'm going to pop my hook in, yarn over, pull through and now I've got three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through the first two and yarn over, pull through the next two. Again, yarn over into that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Again, yarn over into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, and then yarn over, pull through the second two. Okay, so that is four double crochets. I'm going to continue and meet you at the end of my uh, first row. I am now on the second last stitch of my first row. So now I'm going to go yarn over, insert my hook, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. And now I'm going to chain three. So one, two, three, and then I'm going to turn around. And into that very first stitch, I'm going to go yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two. And again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. 
Now I'm going to continue all the way down the line and then I will be doing a chain three again, turning my work and carrying back up with the next row. So you're going to continue all the way until you've built up your 15 centimeters in height and then I will meet you at the end. As you can see my square is now about 15 centimeters in length or in height sorry and I'm going to make my last double crochet into the last stitch over here so now I'm going to work a row of single crochets all the way around to create a border so that it is easier at the end to attach my squares to each other. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to turn and make a row of single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and again yarn over pull through yarn over pull through I'm going to continue until I get to the corner and I will meet you when I get there I've gone all the way down the row with my single crochets and I'm on my last stitch now so I'm going to make three single crochets into that same stitch so pop your hook in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through that's one Again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's two. And then our last one, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And this helps to create a nice little curve to get you around the corner. Now I'm going to be working down the side of my square and I'm going to make two single crochets into every row. So that will be two single crochets into each row and you will see there are these ridges so that would be two rows that means that in between those two ridges you need four single crochets I'm going to go all the way around when I get to the corner over here I'll be making three single crochets into the corner stitch again and again on this corner and then I will meet you at the end when I've gone all the way around. I've gone all the way around with my border and I'm going to finish off now here on the corner. So into that space here where we started our border with our first single crochet. I'm going to pop my hook in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and again yarn over pull through yarn over pull through now I'm going to make a slip stitch into that first single crochet yarn over and pull through and chain one now I'm going to snip off my yarn if I can get it <laughs> So, and there we go. We are done with our second square. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And please keep uh, send me some pictures of your squares that you make, or if you make anything else using this stitch. I would love to see it. And um, feel free to uh, like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you again soon for the next square. Bye!